Hi, my name is Brett from Blue Altitude. Today I'm just going to talk about what is a complex maintenance task. Now when we think about the definition of a complex maintenance task, there is no real clear definition described within the regulatory requirements. So therefore, let's just think about what a complex task would involve. Well, if it involves multiple sort of people, uh, steps may involve like a, a handover or there may be a requirement for a stage inspection to be carried out. And therefore, we could then assume that that is a complex maintenance task. Now, that may also be linked to and include things that involve a critical maintenance task. It could be an independent inspection or involve a reinspection. So they're just some of the things you to think about what would maybe capture a or some things to be considered for a complex maintenance task. So what details really should be recorded? Well, within the regulatory requirements, it does give you a, like a, a definition under 145.a.45 brackets E in the maintenance data. It indicates that a complex maintenance task shall be transcribed onto work cards or worksheets and subdivided into clear stages to ensure a record of the accomplishment of the complete maintenance task itself. So let's just think about this. What that really means is that if you were removing the engine, for example, then you would expect to see uh, line by line recording of what's being carried out to, to remove the engine, to do any changeover and then the refitment, for example. It shouldn't be just certified under one line entry that the engine is being changed because that is inappropriate and really that's no longer allowed uh, when we're actually recording the activities of maintenance. If that was the case, and you, let's say you did do that, then what you would expect is a one line entry with a supporting work card uh, which will actually break down where people would sign off against the each item that's been identified in the maintenance manual data. That's another way to achieve that. Otherwise, you need to, to prescribe details of what's being carried out on the removal and the installation and the testing of the engine, as an example. So what other examples can we actually think about that would involve a complex maintenance task? Well, firstly, you think about the main sort of components, so that could involve like the removal or, or the installation of a uh, landing gear or the undercarriage, uh, depending on what aircraft type you're working on. I've already indicated about like an engine, but also including like the APU, the auxiliary power unit, the disturbance of the flying controls, whether they're gonna be removed or be refitted and tested, the removal and the installations, or the, sorry, I should say, the refitments of the uh, cabin interior. So when you think about the cabin interior, that may not really, people may not consider that to be a complex maintenance task, but it will involve multiple people, there's multiple steps in it, there's multiple items to be removed, recorded and documented. So therefore that is definitely a complex maintenance task. Think about the flight deck or the uh, cockpit of an aircraft. If you're gonna disturb the flight instruments or remove the flight instruments, if you're gonna remove the seats and so on and all the surrounding sort of trim, then that is definitely a complex maintenance tasks where you need to record and document everything that's been removed, everything that needs to be refitted and all the testing requirements and any independent inspections that may be needed as well. For example, removal of seats, maybe removal of certain instruments. Think about obviously removal and refitment of the galleys, uh, any of the Avon equipment. So thinking about the items that may be located in the uh, equipment or the electronic equipment sort of base on, on an aircraft whether that's the same for that, that like the helicopters that you have like equipment racks uh, on the nose or on the, in the rear of the uh, aircraft. Uh, think about structural repairs. So when you think about that as gaining access to, to get to, to start the actual repair itself, the actual physical repair, and also the refitment of those items that have been disturbed and maybe some sort of uh, testing. And then finally, the last one is maybe a bit like modifications. And that really depends on how complex that modification is. But if it involves the disturbance and refit, uh, refitment of certain items uh, and obviously stage inspections or stage process inspections, then that would also be considered to be a complex maintenance task. And that's it really. I'll give you some examples of what a complex maintenance task is, why you should do it and why you should document it. So think again, next time you get involved in disturbing something, uh, ensure you actually document it correctly because that aids in traceability uh, and also it gives clear indication of what has been carried out on the aircraft. If you do have any sort of questions, then please uh, give us a call on the, the number shown on the screen now. Otherwise, you can email us at sales at blue-altitude.com or you can go to our website page. 
hit the contact us and then fire your question in that way or you can actually if you like this little video i've just done today then please uh, comment uh, on a, or give me some sort of feedback if you like it give me the thumbs up that'd be good and if you've got anything else that you'd like to try and do or would like to try and uh, give you insight on too uh, then please just drop us a line we're more than happy to help take care look after yourselves bye bye